<laughs> we're gonna we're gonna edit that section. All right, tubes. What is going on? Hopefully, you guys are enjoying your first few days of spring here. I know I certainly am, and I'm looking forward to the uh, the opportunity that the warm weather that spring brings will give me to uh, spend some time working on the camper, which is currently behind this door, taking up a lot of space in my garage. But anyway, uh, I wanted to do an update for you guys because I know you guys are probably wondering what in the world is going on with that thing. And to answer your question, this is what's going on with that thing. On the top of my black truck here, it's really probably about three inches tops, but uh, there's a little more on the truck over here. You're probably looking more like six, maybe seven inches on there, and, and it's a it starts out with ice. There's a layer of ice, probably almost an inch thick, not solid ice, but very thick stuff underneath it. So that's going to make it fun uh, when the time comes to move it. Speaking of moving snow, you guys may recall from a little while back, uh, actually almost a year ago, maybe slightly over a year ago, me and Road King and my dad, it was my idea, I don't want to attach them to the design of it, but uh, we, we came up with this, uh, this plow here, and, and I'll put a link to the video in there, I'm just make sure you guys can see what's going on here. But anyway, I never got to test it out, and I figured this would probably be a pretty good opportunity to test it out, being as uh, this is most likely the last snowstorm of... Uh, of the winter of 2017 to 2018, at least I think. We got one last week and we thought that was the last one. But anyway, uh, without any further rambling, I got a buddy of mine coming over and he's going to do some filming for me, but we're going to hitch this thing up and, and see if it'll do anything other than uh, other than bend in half. So let's, let's give it a shot. Alright tubes, I'm going to give this, this doohickey here a try. All right, you're going to four wheel low. How's it working? Great. Just wonderful. Don't stop. Is it actually working? Yeah, um, better than I thought it was going to work, to be honest. Pretty sure he's plowing the grass right now, but that's all right. I gotta see this. <laughs> wow, that's moving a lot of snow. That's actually not too bad. No, it really isn't. I, th I, uh, I thought when you were saying, oh, keep going, I thought this thing was like <laughs> going to swing around and take out the side of the truck. Yeah, I, I thought the same thing at first because it goes, when you plow, it actually bends all the way up, and I thought we were going to snap it right, oh, where, it right where the joint is. Oh, wow. All right, well, let's see if we can make it to the end of the street. Jesus. <laughs> hold on, can we just hold on? I just, wanted, I just wanted to make a note of the shifter that's in here. This, this is the, I don't know, I have a name for it yet. There appears to be a bunch of copper tubing. Uh, what is that, a hose clamp down there? Hose got, clamp. Got a hose clamp, some popper, copper, hopper, copper pipe. <laughs> it gets the job done. All right, let's, do, let's make another run. All right. Oh, well, look at that. Now, it's probably going to happen as soon as I take off, it's going to fold back down. Well, I think you need to floor it in that case. Yeah. Easy, go. compact there storage. Oh, look at you that. You can drive down the street like you that. You can drive down the street. As long as you uh, take it easy. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Jeez, all right, stop. Oh. <laughs> all right. Look at that. Look at it. Hey. I gotta say, that 
that blew me away. That really surprised me. When I, when I first designed this thing, I had the idea with it. I thought it was going to work. I was pretty confident in it. I watched some YouTube videos and whatnot of stuff similar, and it seemed like it was going to work. But then as I started looking at it, I was like, uh, you know, I'm not so sure about this thing. I really thought that as soon as this thing got down on the ground with a big pile of snow in front of it, this thing was going to want to go to one side or the other, and, and it was going to bend or, or something was going to break. Probably right around this point. It's probably the weakest point. But, uh, hey, you know what? It blew me away. Look at this driveway. And now it's been, now it's been about an hour since we plowed it. It's covered in snow again, but it, it got the job done. It really did. I mean, for what we spent on it, most of the uh, most of the parts we had lying around the house already. And I think the only thing I spent money on was the plow. That cost me about 40 bucks off of Craigslist. That was it. But uh, I think that's about going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know. Let me know what you thought of this thing. If you guys thought it was going to work prior to uh, prior to seeing it in action, and uh, I don't know. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully this snow melts pretty soon, and uh, we'll be working on the camper. All right, tubes. See you next time.